We are an island, we have a grass-based agricultural system, and the perception worldwide is that this is a beautiful country with a clean, green image. But as farmers, are we actually walking the talk? Our trading partners, they want to know that we are in fact producing a healthy, clean, green product, and part of that package is reducing your reliance on drench. I'm Kate Broadbent. I'm a sheep and beef farmer and a Coopworth stud breeder in Waikaratu. I lease two farms out here in Waikaratu, about seven kilometers apart and one of them is almost exclusively cattle and the other one is the stud operation. I was born in England, grew up in Canada, always was interested in farming, grew up dairy farming there, and then came to New Zealand on my OE in 1987 and fell in love with it. And then had the opportunity to come back here to stay in 2009 and purchased into the stud. I had a great mentor in Clive Woodward who was the previous owner. Clive Woodward had a belief that we didn't need to be having the high inputs 20 years ago. When we took over the flock, I had some tutus that were struggling, and I said, you know, oh, they kind of need a drench. Do not drench them. Get rid of them. And he was right, because if you don't drench, you don't get triple drench resistance. Triple drench resistance is occurring at an alarming rate in the country now. We're having double action and triple action drenches that are failing, and we don't have a lot on the shelf once those are gone. The Coopworth breed was based on a concept, and that concept was performance recording. Let's start measuring things. So my ewes are single sire mated, the lambs are tagged at birth, they're weighed at weaning, they're weighed again, we're doing fleece weights, I do fecal egg counts for larval contamination of the paddocks, there's blood samples taken to assess liver function in the face of facial eczema challenge. Everything that you can record, we are recording, but not just on that animal, it's the whole family line. And when you do that for 40 years, you get an incredibly powerful package of information, and that's the powerful tool. Using the science and the information, and then making improvement. New Zealand has an incredibly optimistic future, and I'm really proud and happy and humbled to be part of it.